Hi, I'm Liv, and today I'm going to be reading The Great Show and Tell Disaster by Mike Rias, illustrated by Mike Cressy. There was once a young inventor named Ned. He was lying in bed, and he wished he were dead. Show and tell was this morning, and wouldn't you know, he had nothing to tell and nothing to show. He'd already brought his toad and his turtle, his bronze baby shoes, and his Aunt Myrtle's griddle, his tonsils, his appendix, his dinosaur fossil. Ned needed something completely colossal. He went to his closet and dug out his stash of valuable treasures he found in the trash. A rusty egg beater, a toy laser beam, a, held, a handheld electronic spelling machine, a slinky with kinks, and a old ping pong paddle, a snow globe that said, having fun in Seattle. He mushed them together with duct tape and glue. He had an invention, but what did it do? He cranked the contraption, the laser glowed red. He pointed the beam at a shoe on his bed. With a flash, the old shoe turned to, into a hose that sprayed ice-cold water on Ned's books and clothes. Then Ned zapped his lamp. It turned into a poem. He took a deep breath, and he tried to stay calm. I'll call my invention Ned's a mix-up ray. I'll be rich, I'll be famous, or at least get an A. He ran down to breakfast to tell mom and dad that the, his shoe was a hose and his lamp was a palm. My newest invention makes normal stuff weird. It lets a cat act and makes bread grow a beard. But just then the laser beam bounced off a dish, changing his aunt to be a big tuna fish. Oops, sorry, said Ned and he ran off to school while his mom and dad put his aunt in the pool. On his way, Ned passed by Mr. Clemens, the grocer. Did he leave the store as he found it? Oh, no, sir. Old Mr. Clemens saw, after a while, the pea, uh, that his peas were now apes and his limes learned how to smile. His lemons were melons, his m melons were lemons. Ah, what's the difference, said old Mr. Clemens. Then Ned went too far. He made everything peach, every peach cheap. And old Mr. Clemens said, beat it, you creep. At school, show and tell started out pretty slow. Kathy brought mustard and Gary brought a hoe. But things got exciting when Ned's mix-up ray made Kathy a yacht and turned Gary into to gray. Jane and me and, J, and Jade, Jane Green, were both meaner than mean. But this bad pair of Janes had became a nice pair of jeans. He made Brian a brain with a big throbbing thinker, changed Nat to an ant, and made Kristen a stinker. Then Ned went way too far. Mr. Eden, the teacher, turned into a monster, a three-headed creature. Ned roared at the teacher. You get an A, an F plus. Then he hustled the children outside to the bus. It's time for our trip to the Museum of Art. And I'm warning you, Ned, don't try anything smart. I have six eyes and they're watching you, bub. But she hadn't noticed the bus was a sub. They sailed through the city, Ned zapped every sign. Look very closely, can you find all nine? Museum of Art, 
Ned roamed through the halls, making pie crusts from pictures that hung on the walls. He changed art to a rat. He turned art to tar. He took he bust one bust was the stub of a smelly cigar. And on sprouted legs went to out for a run. And nine neon sculptures had dwined to none. Out in the courtyard, surrounding by trees, Rodin's the kiss had turned into the skis. And sitting on top where a pigeon would perch, one pig was squealing and left in, in the lurch. A giant dog statue replaced a Greek god. This, this throne was a hornet, which looked rather odd. Ned made a mess out of each masterpiece and trashed all the treasures of classic Greece. When she, when she saw the madness throughout the museum, the teacher let loose with a three-headed scream. Last call for anybody who... When she saw the madness throughout the museum, the teacher let loose with a three-headed scream. And suddenly, Nan knew there, this wasn't a game. Things were a nightmare without the right name. Kathy the Yat said, You wrecked the show and tell. Kristen the Stinker sobbed. You made me smell. Ryan the Brain asked, Have you washed your mind? The yearn, the yearn with the legs kicked him in the behind. The mood wasn't good, and poor Ned could sense doom. So he ran and, and he hid in the little boy's room. I've scrambled my friends in the whole art collection, Ned thought as he started at his, as he stared at his gloomy reflection. Then Ned had a brainstorm. He knew it could work. I'm a genius, he cried, and well, kind of a jerk. He aimed, the mi he aimed at the mirror with Ned's mix-up ray. The device zapped itself and became unmixed spray. With a spritz of his spray, he made art from a rat. The yacht became Kathy. The ant became Nat. Brian's huge brain was tucked back in his crayon. Kristen the stinker smelled like a ger germinum. The only thing left was the three-headed creature. This monster was scary, but so was his teacher. Ned sprayed the monster. Ned sprayed the monster, and it became Mrs. Eden. She was angry at first, but then she started to sweeten. Ned, you have been almost. You have been a most mischief kid, but I think you've undone all the damage you did, and you kept this from being another dull day. I'm, I'm so I'm raising your grade from F, F plus to an A. On his way home from school, he stopped by the store and found out that things were better than he'd been, that it, than it'd been before. Those pagers are, se are selling much better than grapes, Mr. Clemens explained. So, so I hired the apes to work as my cl clerks. They have excellent manners. The best part of all is they work for bananas. You've helped me a lot. You're a very bright child. Mr. Clemens and Ned and all of the limes smiled. Ned returned home feeling proud of himself and he set down the spray with his A on the shelf. He'd, he'd fixed all the problems at home and at school except for his aunt, who's, who is still in the pool. But what should, 
what should he bring for the next show and tell? A bell or a shell or a stair or a stale Carmel? Or he might build a sen a switcheroo gizmo instead. Wit but for now, it's the end of the story of Ned. Thank you for watching, guys. And make sure to check out some of our other videos. Bye!